Unit Two. Life in the countryside. Page sixteen. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Wind speaking. Hi, Wing. How's your stay there? Nick. Hi. Well, it's more exciting than I expected. What are you doing? Lots of things. It's harvest time, so we help load the rice onto buffalo-drawn carts, ride it home, and dry it. Have you ever ridden a cart? No, but I'd like to. And sometimes I go herding the buffaloes with the boys. You've made new friends. Yeah, right on my first day. They came and took me to the paddy fields to fly kites. Where can you buy a kite in the countryside? The people here don't buy kites; they make them. My grandfather's made me the largest, most colourful kite I've ever had. It looks great up there in the sky. Oh, I'm so envious. Ha! <laughs> I guess I live more happily here, and there's still a lot more to explore. Sounds great. And everything seems to move more slowly here than in the city. I wish I could join. Unit two. Page eighteen. A closer look. One. Activity one. Listen and repeat the words. One. Slow. Two. Colorful. Three. Friendly. Four. Hard. Five. Brave. Six. Boring. Seven. Inconvenient. Eight. Fast. Nine. Peaceful. Ten. Nomadic. Unit two. Page nineteen. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen and repeat the words. Pay attention to the initial clusters. One. Blackberry. Two. Clothing. Three. Climb. Four. Blind. Five. Click. Six. Clay. Seven. Bloom. Eight. Blossom. Nine. Clock. Ten. Clear. Unit two. Page nineteen. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Listen and circle the word you hear. One. Blame. Two. Blast. Three. Blue. Four. Clock. Five. Close. 
Unit 2. Page 19. Pronunciation. Activity 7. Listen to the sentences and repeat. 1. The wind is blowing so hard. 2. These people have climbed to the top of the mountain. 3. The tree is in full bloom. 4. Look at the clear blue sky. 5. Blind people can read with braille. Unit 2 Page 23 Skills 2 Listening Activity 1 Listen to a boy talking about changes in his village and tick the changes he mentions. I live in a mountain village. My parents often tell me stories about their life in the past. It's not much like the village I can see nowadays. Some villagers now live in brick houses instead of earthen ones. Our houses are better equipped with electric fans and TVs. Thanks to the TV, we now know more about life outside our village. We don't use oil lamps anymore. We have electric lights which are much brighter. More villagers are using motorcycles for transport instead of riding a horse or walking. We village children no longer have to walk a long way and cross a stream to get to school, which is dangerous in the rainy season. Now there's a new school nearby. We also have more visitors from the city. They come to experience our way of life. Unit 2 Page 23 Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 Listen again and say if the sentences are true or false. I live in a mountain village. My parents often tell me stories about their life in the past. It's not much like the village I can see nowadays. Some villagers now live in brick houses instead of earthen ones. Our houses are better equipped with electric fans and TVs. Thanks to the TV, we now know more about life outside our village. We don't use oil lamps anymore. We have electric lights which are much brighter. More villagers are using motorcycles for transport instead of riding a horse or walking. We village children no longer have to walk a long way and cross a stream to get to school, which is dangerous in the rainy season. Now there's a new school nearby. We also have more visitors from the city. They come to experience our way of life. Unit 2 Page 23 Skills 2 Listening Activity 3 Listen again and answer the questions in no more than four words.
I live in a mountain village. My parents often tell me stories about their life in the past. It's not much like the village I can see nowadays. Some villagers now live in brick houses instead of earthen ones. Our houses are better equipped with electric fans and TVs. Thanks to the TV, we now know more about life outside our village. We don't use oil lamps anymore. We have electric lights which are much brighter. More villagers are using motorcycles for transport instead of riding a horse or walking. We village children no longer have to walk a long way and cross a stream to get to school, which is dangerous in the rainy season. Now there's a new school nearby. We also have more visitors from the city. They come to experience our way of life.